Hi Kiwi! Alright, another day, another Hades, and we're gonna start off the day once again with a More good pet for a good boy. More pets are always in order. Kiwi, learn from Zagreus. Head pets are the best, and you should give them to me at all times. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and launch this assault. So today we're gonna be running the bow again, and I know I'm, uh, I've used the bow a whole lot, but this time the game is enticing me to do so because it's giving it the the passive that makes it so you get 20% more Erebus shards, and we, we need those, so there's a good reason for it this time. And I have no idea what this build is going to center around, but hopefully we got something fun. Alright, starting with Poseidon. I have to tell you something, little Hades. My relatives and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours, so call me if you need anything. Especially to smash your enemies to bits. Alright, so we're getting the calls. And actually, Poseidon has one of the best calls in the game, I believe. Oh, oh what's this? And it's an epic grade. Ooh, this is good. Alright, so your call makes you surge into foes while impervious for 1.2 seconds. This is really, really strong. Uh, it makes you invulnerable to damage, and all I have to do is press right trigger to use it. Uses one stack. Alright, I remember now. So the way the god gauge works is there are four... In the bottom left, you can see that I have uh, that bar that just filled, and the way it works, <clears throat> pardon me, the way it works is uh, dealing damage, receiving damage, makes that bar fill up. And for each bar you have, you can deal, you can, oh my, you, you, you can do one use of your call. And unfortunately, I didn't realize that it doesn't get conserved between rooms, but I guess that is a... I guess it really is like the artifact effects from, from Lotus Lantern then, because those didn't transfer between rooms either. I, I, I had assumed that was kind of something that differentiated the two games, but... Basically, dealing damage lets your call... your, your god bar fill up. And if you have a full bar when you use it, it gets some extra effect. Either it lasts longer, does more damage, has a bigger AoE, that, that sort of idea. So I think since we're running base level Koronok, the main things I'll look to do here are, one, I will look to get Dionysus on my special attack. If I can get that, that's already really good. Good enough to eat. Your call makes you surge, so now this does 450 damage instead of 350, so it does a ton of damage. Um, that'll one-shot pretty much all of the enemies on the first floor, I believe. 50, let's see, 50, 100, 100, uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even see the spike trap there, yeah. Yeah, that'll easily one-shot these guys. A shame that the uh, the god bar does not fill and can, can serve between rooms. So, the, the, basically what that boils down to is there's no reason to be conservative about them. Really? Anyway, so I think the, the main thing I want on this build is some Daedalus Hammer to make my attacks way stronger. I believe there's an ability that makes you have a triple shot, which isn't great at a distance necessarily, but point blank, it does so much damage. Especially if you stack with uh, one of the boons that gives a ton of basic attack damage on your auto, on your basic attack, or a ton of extra damage on your auto attack. Or I guess auto attack... Auto attack is the incorrect term, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. Your basic attack, if it stacks with that. Aphrodite, I believe, has one of the highest kind of like scaling basic attacks, if I recall. But uh, based on what we saw in the last, or uh, earlier, or I think the second episode, we saw that Aphrodite actually at common level had less damage than Athena. And reflecting projectiles with my own projectiles does seem pretty cool. But. I wouldn't mind Demeter's cast. Let's see what we get. Your attack deals 200% damage to distant foes. Your attack deals 150% damage to nearby foes. Your attack fires two shots side by side with reduced range. Hmm. I mean, it's not hard to keep distance from enemies. And that's a huge damage increase. I think I'm going to take that. Tuned up. And I think it, it actually shows you what that range is. Like, see where there's a second set of arrows? At the tip there. So, we'll try this. Man, that's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage! 
because I'm a nerd and have to make every meme reference there is under the sun. Well, I guess you don't have to be a nerd to like meme culture. I don't even know if I like meme culture. I uh, Most of the memes go above my head. Or over my head. But yeah, if I, if I can stack this passive with another, like, good god boon on my basic attack... Oh, Ares. That could be pretty good. I don't remember how Ares attacks... Yeah. Oh, hello. I know this boss can be kind of tricky, and he doesn't favor the build I'm currently running. I'll have to fire off pretty rapidly to hit him. Ah. I got stuck on him and couldn't dash through. Darn. That was unfortunate. Alright, we've almost broken his armor. There we go. Yeah, so armor ha actually has a way... Armor makes enemies way more tanky than their actual HP would bar, would otherwise have you think. Like, it, it looks like armor is maybe like a 300% increase to the, per the character's actual HP. It's, 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 it's at least double. Thanks, Ares. Attack inflicts Doom, which does 100 damage on hit. Your cast sends a blade, a blade Rift. Your dash creates a Blade Rift. I remember this ability also being really, really good. Because if I just focus on dashing, I'm leaving Blade Rifts everywhere, and they do a ton of damage very quickly. I think, let's take the attack boon. That's a pretty the solid boon. Island, wretches of Tartarus are sealed away even from other condemned souls. They're only visitors. Those fool enough to attempt escape. Let's do this again sometime. <laughs> Alright. So we've got Ares and Poseidon. I don't remember what their duo boons are even remotely like. I remember Poseidon had some weird boons that, like, benefited... What else? Things that you find in the dungeons, like currencies, I mean. And I feel like he had a weird duo boon that affected that, that in a similar way, too. I remember my my favorite build was the 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 bow that has like a really long charge up and a short range comboed with Aphrodite and the double or triple shot ability, and with all of those in conjunction, also oh and also the one that makes you deal more damage when you attack from close range, all of those comboed together made for an absolutely deadly build that was very consistent for me if I was able to pull it off. What is it now? You cannot escape. I imagine we're going to run into Thanatos soon if we're already doing this. This will be a good room where I'll probably be able to get the, ca the, 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 whatever it's called, the, the call ability activated. I, I forget how you get abilities that make it so your, your call, your god energy bar fills faster. But there's definitely something in the game that makes that happen, because I remember this being a lot faster, but here we go, let's use this. Just look at all that damage I just dealt, it's so much. Just trying to get as many kills as I can because it's worth money. There we go. That's quite enough. Yeah, these rooms can be a little stressful, but they're also really good for getting gold. Because all the, when you kill enemies, they drop gold, usually. Alright, so we're getting Demeter, uh, Demet Demeter, <laughs> how many different ways can I mispronounce Dem Demeter or Demeter? Let's not find out, because I feel like it's going to bother someone, possibly me the most, but... These things are annoying because they just try to melee range and grab you, and then you're, like, locked in place for a second. It's basically a petrify it by a different image, if you will. But, I mean, if they're going to stand still... Alright, I'm now remembering, so... Doom does a heckin' ton of damage. The downside to Doom is that it has a brief delay before the damage is done, and you can only stack one. I don't think it stacks until you get a passive that lets it stack. So, my my basic attacks do a lot of damage, but I one, that, that ability doesn't increase the base damage of my attacks. Is that the blood-like stain of pomegranate on you, Zagreus? fruit resistant to a winter's chill. How fascinating they survive down there. Your attack is stronger and inflicts chill. 
It's heroic, so that's an upgrade from what I currently have. For 8 seconds, the victim is slowed by 4% and can stack up to 10 times. Any life effects are more potent. You have no cast, but take less 10% less damage and deal more. Hmm. This is tempting. That's a pretty substantial damage buff. And it slows enemies. Eh. I think I'm gonna take it. I'm sure Lord Ares won't mind. Which way? And I guess the question is, do I will I mind? Let's go this and hope for a boon. A boon worth swooning over. A boon to swoon. Oh, you're gonna try and entice me with Aphrodite's dex attack now, aren't you? That's rude of you, Charon. <laughs> Fine day to you as well, there, mate. Now let's have a look at your supplies, shall we? Fair enough. All right, what have you got, Afro? Looks like we meet again, dearest, here among the foul detritus of the boatman's wares. You truly take me to the best of places. All right, your cast is a wide, short-range blast that inflicts weak. When foes are slain, they explode. When you take damage, you explode. I guess we'll take the cast. I just want some way to apply weak on something. Oh, I remember how this works now. So what it was, was I actually wanted the Aphrodite cast. And then I think the bow had a way of, like, the, the, the bow that I used made its basic attacks apply the cast, maybe? I forget, but this looks, this looks familiar. We'll eventually unlock the bow that I liked the most. It just is probably a good distance away before we do that. Alright. So, I, I just... This is going to be an X attack based build. Hopefully I can find a Dionysus passive for my for my special so that I can just get some good damage over time on top of everything else. But being able to slow things by 40%, especially in like a boss fight, may actually make it more difficult because the timings are going to be, be completely off, but we'll see. All right. We'll keep going with Poseidon for now. I'm Poseidon on Poseidon. Be gone, foul vases. I don't know why I'm bothering to hit these. I haven't unlocked the gold vases yet. Oops. Any palms of power you find are more potent. Okay. Well, may as well take that while we're here. Alright, so... Ever more the reason to go for palms of power, then. Hopefully we run into a... Uh, we run into a Eurydice. Tell me something, Zach. Because I'm curious. Do your Olympian relatives know the real reason you've been trying to escape? I'll get around to that in due time. Their family. They'll understand, no doubt. You're in over your head, you idiot. You'll fray what bonds are left between Lord Hades and those ingrates on Olympus. Yeah, she's so slow now. And as long as I space appropriately, I should be able to get the damage buff. I'm gonna poop. I was about to say I'm gonna focus on dashing or dodging, and then I dodge directly into the attack. But she's she's forty percent slowed now, which is pretty hilarious because she she's so slow. And wow, I'm doing a lot of damage too. I just need something that scales with Demeter's freeze. Oh my goodness! Ah! All right, yeah, let's do this. Watch her HP bar for a second. Because you can get two hits. You can get more than one hit in that minute and a, a second and a half time that you have. Yeah, my hits are chunking her. I'm focused on just getting the stacks here and dealing with damage I can because I have to dodge the, the floor attack. So that was pretty fast. That felt pretty good. Still not my fastest run getting to this point, but we'll take it. All right, up the stairs we go. You're going nowhere, boy. I know. All right, don't need the HP. None of this is. Uh, all right, nothing here seems appealing, and I don't have enough keepsakes to switch out. The path from Tartarus is finally laid bare. Far above, the heat from Phlegathon, the river of flame, is faintly felt already. Even as its dangers lie in wait. Lovely. 
One of these days, I'll probably get around to playing some of the other Supergiant games. Like, I played Fire very briefly, but it was in grad school, and you know how grad school be. What you think is free time rapidly expires, so... Oh, this heat. Within the suffocating heat of Asphodel reside the vast majority of those who lived upon the Earth and died. There they persist until the end of time. I would say I, crush their bones to dust? I would say overall Hades is really my true first super giant experience and I absolutely loved it. And up we go. Uh, so I, I definitely want to try some of their, if for lack of a better word, some of the rest of their Pantheon. I know it's like catalog or whatever you want to call it, but Pantheon seems more appropriate when you're playing Hades, you know? But all right, let's go ahead and try and kill these guys nice and quick. Yeah, I have, I have a pretty solid amount of damage here. The, question, the real question is, will I find any palms of power to actually benefit from the duo boon I got with Poseidon Demeter? Surprise. Demeter. Demeter. Demi... Demi... Do... Do... Ah. I took the hit because I wanted to use my cast, but it was a mistake. So much for them. Alright, well, at least I'll be able to afford HP. Ooh, this is tough. Eurydice or Hermes? The chance for a second dash is very appealing, but hearing weight of the world is also very appealing. Let's see, what would I get if I had the Palm of Power? It wouldn't affect that. I think it would have to affect one of these two, which means that could actually be really effect. That could be really strong. I think I think I'm gonna go for Eurydice. This may have been the wrong choice, but it's the choice I decided. From within a humble residence in Asphodel reverberates the golden sounding voice of Lorne Eurydice, who once attempted to escape the underworld and failed utterly, much like Prince Atreus. Oh, harsh. You watch yourself, old man. You're always welcome here, your royal majesty. I, w I wonder what the canonical excuse for what this what this old man is in the game is, because I don't actually know. All right, upgraded rarity. Four random boons gain one level. Or two boons upgraded to the next rarity. I think I do this. What do we get? Sure thing. Hmm, cheers. All right. Cool. Got some pretty hefty damage ups on the on my core damaging abilities, and good, some HP after that. I didn't actually talk to her, did I? She I, she had some dialogue left over. I didn't even notice. Oh, this is gonna be a little difficult. All right, remember that I can use my special attack defensively in this room. Yeah, because my, 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 any of my damaging moves do break their projectiles. Can't kill that before it goes? Cool, I got that one right before it dug under the ground. Alright, we're doing fine. Turns out my Y attack is pretty reliable for a defensive option, which is nice. <laughs> that was funny, the slow-mo dash and spin. Instantly gain HP without restoring. So this is basically a cheaper satyr heart or centaur heart. That seems really good for me right now. So I'm gonna, I am gonna take that, even though it doesn't heal me. We need survive. We still need survivability. We don't have a lot in the in the way of making us tanky. That does lock me out of going from the shop for the shop because there's nothing I could afford there that's worth it. So we'll go for Aphrodite and hope for something nice. Maybe uh, my weak effects last longer, sort of passive, or uh, I Bunch heal more. Is always here for me. Let's start charging this up and get ready. Let's see, the cast does reasonable damage, but it's hard to use reliably when you only have one gem. But again, getting weak on any enemy and doing a solid hit of damage as well, pretty nice. I'll, I'll, I'll try not to go out of my way to get close range, though, because that seems like a mistake that'll cost me eventually. Especially against Hades. 
Although with the poor fool being calling a god a fool, jeez. With the poor man being calling a god a man, jeez. With the poor, with the dude. <laughs> Whatever. There's no appropriate way for me to address this guy th that makes sense both in me trying to say it and the meaning it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm. It seems like a bad decision to go melee range on Hades. Well, but, but, with him being 40% slowed, maybe it's more doable, it's more feasible than I'm willing to acknowledge, is what I'm trying to say, I think, but I kind of lost the train of thought after just getting distracted by all of the weird things I decided to call the god of the undead, or the god of the underworld. Let's not get lit on fire, please. Yeah. The one place where this Daedalus hammer really falls off is in rooms like this where there's just too many enemies and not enough space to reliably dodge. But it's fine because I still do I still do pretty substantial damage thanks to the to the uh, the boon I took with Demeter. There we go. Yeah, I definitely could use some more Demeter passives though. We could go out and meet some mortals. I know all too many maidens and or noble gentlemen who'd absolutely love to get to know you. <laughs> Your dash deals damage where you end up. Any HP increases gain more. Weak afflicted foes are also susceptible to damage. Ooh, that entices me to use my cast a little bit more, which I was saying may not be the most reliable option. So these are both pretty convincingly good options for me. I do think I'm going to take the damage up, though. Oh, and an Ares room now, is it? Hmm. I wonder if he's going to be upset with me for giving up his the one boon I took from him earlier. That's fine, though. Maybe he'll give me something worth using. I think I'm going to really like Demeter's passive. It's already doing more da It's doing a ton of damage as it is. It is heroic rate, after all. Which I believe is the highest rate it can be. I dashed right into that one, didn't I? Taking a lot of damage in this room that it was strictly unnecessary. It honestly might be better if I just take the uh what's it called? I take the Y the special attack boon of of Aphrodite so that I just can permanently make sure that I have uptime on her weak. Special inflicts doom. After slaying a foe, your next attack and special deals more damage. After using death defiance, deal more damage for that encounter. I guess we'll take this because most likely where I'm going to be using that is a boss fight anyway. So I may as well benefit from it. 15% more damage in a boss fight does sound pretty appealing. An ominous looking portal on the ground right there. Oh, hey, look who it is. Let's go see this guy. Oh, right, I forgot it costs HP to visit him, but I think for narrative purposes... To go in here. I think it's worth it. I don't see why not. Who or what is that? Oh, the god of chaos is just called chaos. Okay, fair enough. The deepest reaches of the underworld, the void from which all life and consciousness sprang forth during the dawn of time, the realm of chaos, a land almost unseen even to denizens of death's kingdom. No, I think that's it. it I think that statement is incorrect. I don't think his name is Chaos. I just can't remember what his name is if it's not Chaos. This is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades. Um, hello. May I ask who's calling? Um, have we met? Oh, we have met in a way. I know everybody here and there. You wish to leave this place, and it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. And if you encounter the Olympians someday, do give them my regards. Okay, so his name is Chaos. Alright, for the next five chambers, chamber reward previews are hidden, and then uh, gain 78% more of the consume or the currency resources. For the next three encounters, each time you attack, you get hit for four damage, but afterwards my special deals more damage. For the next three encounters, I cannot earn gold, but at the end, I gain 38 HP. 
I think that's the one we're going to take because it has the least immediate de uh, detriment to me. Mm. So the shop is probably the right choice because I can heal, but I can't afford any anything other than a heal. Versus a pomegranate. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to take the shop. Because I'm pretty sure we're going into the boss fight, right? Yeah. Ooh, what are you? Oh, ra right, this is a random boon. Unfortunately, I got unlucky and can't afford... Uh, he didn't even offer an HP up. So we're going to have to fight Lurney with relatively no HP. We'll at least get this. Upgrade my cast, upgrade Poseidon's aid, or upgrade my damage addition if they are weakened. I think we go for the call. I'll just have to make sure that I stack it up as much as possible in the Hades fight and then just hopefully use it when it's most appropriate. And don't get cheesed by him pulling up an invulnerability shield, which I feel is what's going to actually happen in the scenario. Different. Oh, yeah. You got a fancy little hat. If I recall the way it works is he has different attacks based on how he looks. Yeah, see, now he's using his little waves instead of his little projectile needle things. But he attacks so slow because he's slowed down by the, uh, the passive I got on him. I wonder if I can keep stacking that if I don't do damage to him like this. Bad learning. No, I okay, I can't stack it up because I'm not doing damage, unfortunate. That's fine, though. This is fine. I mean, he's kind of just letting me do whatever I want, frankly. And if I can get... I'm going to get my god bark charged up pretty strong by the time his last phase rolls around, which will make me deal with these heads a lot easier if I can take a bunch of them out with the call very quickly. Works for me, though. I'll take whatever boons I can take that give me a better chance of winning. Get my damage up. And I go back to just poking at him. Ah, uh, he's got my... The lack of multiple casts, I really feel it. Alright. So I'm just shy of having a second god bar, so... Try and get that stacked up as quick as possible, and well, bam! There we go. See, that just made this whole phase a lot easier. Oh, except I'm trying to get hit, apparently. All right, that's another head down. Let's try and take out these uh, reinforcements a little bit. Not a fan of having to deal with them if I don't have to. This guy's just spawning them, so we'll take out this guy first. Got another god bar, let's use it. And that should be it with him. Okay, perfect. We're in a pretty good spot now. And I don't think there's really anything he can do to me at this point, other than me just messing up on a fundamental level. Oh, he can do that, he can do that. Oh no. Well, <sighs> I should have known better than to be confident any, at any moment. Got you. Darkness. I am disappointed. Alright, so I'll have to make sure I save up my gold so I can buy a Death Defiance. That victory of yours shall be short lived. That it will, Hades, that it will. Always the next one. Ooh. Alright. I forgot that you can buy Chaos Gates. I'm not going to do that here, though, because I need to conserve my HP until I get my Death Defiance, as well as my money. It, might, it honestly might be worthwhile that if I see a uh, money room, if there's nothing super competitive for it, I take that instead of the... whatever the alternate option is. Yeah, Elysium must feel wonderful compared to... compared to Asphodel. I just need to storm my way through that eternal paradise. All right, so a palm or a coin. But like we were saying, I think I gotta go for. Wait, I can't. Is this still going? 
Yeah, I can't earn gold, so it's, it's not worth taking that room just yet, unfortunately. So we'll go for the Palm of Power and see what it what what skill we upgrade with it. Right now my call just does an absurd amount of damage because I've stacked so much into it. It's just, it's not really a great idea when I can't reliably generate God Gauge very easily. But I seem to have pretty good damage overall, I would say, especially compared to the shield run from before. Archers is a little spooky, but we're okay. There we go. And then I just use that. Alright, attack does more damage. Or, yeah, definitely on the attack. More damage on the attack is very welcome here. Another Daedalus Hammer. Or... Hermes. I think... I think I go the Daedalus Hammer, because that just has so much potential to break a run. And these explosive chariots are hardly a threat if you can deal with them from a distance. Oh, I'm getting caught on surfaces. Not good. We're fine. Right. That was a little sketchy, but we're fine. Yeah. The short range nature of the cast, like I see where it ain't where it can hit, but it looks like it feels like it can hit actually a little bit further than what it says it can. I could be mistaken about that, but almost there. Oh dear. I dashed towards it because I thought I was gonna hit it. That was kind of a wasted cast, wasn't it? Get a little closer for me. Thanks, guys. I'm not interested in what you have to sell me. Nope. Back off. Got you. It is kind of satisfying to one-shot them and just see them explode, I will say. As long as they're not exploding right next to me, at least. There we go. What have we got? Excellent, so I just got a whole bunch of HP. Your attack fires three shots in a spread pattern. Your power shot is easier to execute and deals 150% damage. Hold special for up to 250% damage, but minimum range reduced. Alright. So this is the ability I was thinking about that is extremely strong with a close range shot. I have built myself such that I, I want the longer distance, so I wonder if honestly... Let's say I think this is the better option, so I'm going to take this for this build. Should do it. Oh wow, that charges up a lot faster. And... The dash attack doesn't seem to have the benefit, maybe? No, it does, okay. Okay, cool. So I can get gold again. I can't afford anything from the shop, but I don't really want to fight a mini boss, so maybe I just take the free shop pass, even if I'm not gonna benefit from it. Yeah, I think this is probably the logical decision here. Uh, missing out on a Hermes or a Poseidon, those are both really good options. This is probably worth it for the Ares passive, because usually Ares gives some form of damage up. I don't have reliable sustain, so I have to be... I'm, I'm probably going to regret this, but we'll see. Butterfly ball. Oh, it's the butterfly chamber. Try and kill as many of these guys as I can before they cause an issue. I'm pretty sure one probably just reformed, but it's fine. Oh, they're just going to spawn ad nauseum. Okay, never mind. We focus on the ball then. The butterflies don't do that much damage, but they do a lot of damage over time. Like, it adds up very quickly. It also makes it really hard to position appropriately against all the other enemies. Oh, I got this. Cool, alright. Yeah, the call is so strong for bursting things down. Obviously, it's not a you can it's not something you can use rapidly or regularly, 
but you can absolutely use it enough that it matters. I took so much damage in this room, though. It was absolutely not worth it. The auto... I do have some issues with the auto lock-on in this game sometimes when playing on controller. But I think it's more reliable than depending on mouse. If I was relying on mouse, I would probably miss a lot more shots that I take. Alright. Okay, we got this. Let's go ahead and use it. Ah, oh, I got caught on the corner. Unideal. These archers are such a pain to deal with when I'm dealing with melee airs on top of everything else. I have my cast, so I should be able to chunk this. Oh, I got the hit canceled me out of my attack, and they resurrected because of it. And I was wrong. They resurrect with their armor. Ugh. Unideal. I've almost got my god bar up, though, so this will be good for me, potentially. I'm using it. Kill these. It didn't actually kill them. Too much armor, I guess. Alright, that's one done, and I think the other one died, so we're good. Focus on the spear next. Alright, there we go. Missed that entirely, and my... The auto target took me away from the thing I was aiming for, so not ideal. Just stack the slows on him as much as I can. There we go. Alright, we're good. Oof, that was not worth it. Special inflicts doom, dash creates blade rift. After you take damage, inflict doom on things around you. Yeah, this was not worth it. <laughs> not even remotely worth it. I guess I'll take the dash blade rift because that can that can do a lot of damage. And then, hmm, I'm gonna take this for now. Maybe I should have gone for the gems. Oh well, we're fine. I'm definitely going to see these blade rifts that are spawning on me and think they're enemy attacks, though, which is not ideal. Just try and deal as much damage as I can. Yeah, so the blade rifts... The blade rift passive is very effective for enemies that like to chase me. For example, it'll work very well against Hades if I just focus on dashing away from him rather than fighting, because he does have a habit of chasing after you. And most enemies in this game are some degree of melee. Alright, where are you? There you are. Alright, I got one charge of god bar, so I'll just save it for what it seems best. Honestly, if these archers group up, I'll use it here. Perfect, perfect. Okay, keep it moving. Oh, this room is spooky. Yeah. I think... I think what I probably want to do based on how this build has gone and the lack of Dionysus is I go for an Aphrodite passive on my special. And that way I can more reliably stack weak on enemies to get the damage buff and the damage reduction. Let's see what we got. Demeter or HP... I feel like Demeter has some potential to have really strong boons for what I want in this build. The HP would definitely give me a degree of much much greater confidence and comfort, but I think I'm going to go for Demeter. It's probably the wrong call, but realistically speaking, 20, 25 HP isn't going to save me. Did I miss that this was an Ares versus Demeter? Because I feel like I missed that. I'm grateful, Special inflicts chill. After you take damage, chill, completely chill your opponent. When you have no cast, take 10% damage and we'll take that. 10% damage reduction and damage dealt. He mad. So I don't actually remember what his punishment rooms are like. Oh, okay, he, he drops some projectile-type things. That's fine. For now, it's fine. I'm sure it'll be bad in a, in a moment. But these guys are all melee -er types, so... As long as I don't mistake them for my blade drifts, I should be okay. Alright, that's one down. Whoop! Almost got hit by that, but we're fine. It looks like there's a brief moment where you don't take damage even if you're in contact with it. It might be when it first spawns, though. 
I'm not gonna try and find out. Nope, no, you don't. No, you don't. None of that. None of that at all. I've almost got my god bar up. Uh, good archer is my favorite. All right, I've got the the god bar now, so I can use that to dodge this guy. But honestly, we're just gonna go ahead. Oh, he! Wow, he he almost evaded that entirely. Well, thankfully, I was able to catch up with him, but that was almost really sketchy. All right, and this will hopefully ah, what hit me? Oh, there's another archer. I I completely missed you, bud. Oh, it respawned. Damn it. Please let me aim. It really did not want me to shoot that guy, it seemed. Alright, I think we've got him now. And shoot. Cast that. I have to remember to use my cast for the damage up. Whew. Sword looks cool. Special inflicts doom. After you take damage, inflict doom. Your attack, special, and cast deal 13% more damage. We'll take that, kindly. HP up, please. Restore 10% HP, which is 16 HP. So for 45 gold, I will gain... roughly 45 HP. Just rounding down a little bit to multiply by 15s. Um, yeah, that's probably worth it. Yeah, I'll take that. And then I, th I think I go for the flat HP room because this is worth 125 gold. This is only giving me 100 gold. Although, do I have a thing that makes me get more gold from Poseidon? I don't think I do. But if we're looking at cost, this is worth it in terms of cost. Spooky enemies, I've got to be careful from the, uh, against their projectiles, though. I think we're coming up towards the end of this floor, though. We've been here for a while. Come die again. Yeah, the next time I see uh, close range shot, I'll, I'll switch to that one, though. I mean, in the next run, I mean, I can't get it now, it's too late, but the next time I get a Daedalus Hammer with close range shot, I'll probably try and take it, because it's a really fun build, and a really strong build at that. Alright, just gotta evade these really annoying chariots, but the nice thing is, is again, leaving a blade rift behind makes it so that I can dodge them and still deal damage. Like, I forgot, this 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 dash is actually really strong for me. He ran. Oh, I'm, that's so lame. I got caught on the wall and he ran in the perfect direction so I couldn't hit him. And then the chariot caught me when I was trying to get unclipped from the wall. Just unlucky all around. So much damage unnecessarily taken. At least I'll be getting 25 HP, so I'm, I'm getting more HP than I spent to do this room, I suppose, at the very least. And if I'm able to heal, at least I will have... Yeah, I, I, I have more HP than I started with. And potentially, if I'm able to heal without taking too much more damage, even more after that. Now here's the real question, do I take another HP up, or do I go for the Ares boon again? Hmm. I mean, I I'm I would really, really, really like an, a, another duo boon. And the more boons I get with Ares, the fewer options we'll have that aren't duo boons. The HP seems really important here. It's a tough decision. I'm going to I'm going to go for the fun. I'm probably going to die to Asterius and Antheseus because I'm getting greedy. But that's okay. We'll have our one eventually. It only gets easier both with practice and with the roguelike elements of the game as well. Kill this one. Ugh, a butterfly ball. Be gone, ball. Basically, the cast the cast in Hades' room is going to be my win condition. If I can get my cast fully charged up, I am going... Or not my cast, my, 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 my call. If I can get my call fully charged up and get the full HP bar, that is going to do such an unbelievable amount of damage to Hades. 
Like, it cannot be understated how much damage this cast does. Like, it's not going to kill Hades. And the biggest issue is he has a multiple phases where he's invulnerable in the transition. So I have to be very mindful about when and where I choose to use it, and I know I'm going to choose the wrong time for it. But it's also a, a get... It's a get jail, get out of jail free kind of card as well. Blade fifths effect deal damage in a wider area or last longer and pull foes. This might be good, but I'm not sold on it. I mean, my my basic attacks are dealing like 150 damage each. I think at max, 200 at max maybe. So that is pretty pretty grand actually in terms of damage. I think this is the the best choice here. We'll take that for the damage. Alright, so shop or pomegranate? Definitely shop. I can get some HP before the boss fight. Or knowing them, I Karen seems to really hate giving me HP. Oh, there it is, cool. So I could go for Aphrodite, or I could go for HP. I still have my Skelly for a resurrection. But I think HP is the correct call here. I think I have to choose HP. I'll take the pomegranate too. Flat, 6% more damage, or 60 more damage from my special. Hmm. I think... I'm not really using my cast. I am de mostly depending on my attack. I think I'm going to go with this one. Might not be the right call, but I'm going with it. All right, Kiwi, wish me luck. This is going to be the roughest part of the run, I imagine. Gentlemen. Mental Jun. So, Hellspawn, you seek to break through to the surface of the world, but you shall not achieve your goal whilst I yet live and breathe, or the equivalent of it here in the splendors of Elysium. Yeah, I guess you're technically neither alive, and uh, do do the spirits here actually breathe? And you leave me with little choice but to make you shut up already, and your bullheaded manservant there. <laughs> That Minotaur whom you address is my dear friend, you preconceiving stain upon the earth. Asterius and I are brothers here in death as we were enemies in life. Not that you could ever understand fraternal bonds as strong as ours. I, I, I really do enjoy their bromance. Whoa. Getting as many stacks of slow as I can on this guy. Whoa. Almost got hit by that. Whoop, got hit by that. Ah. Wow, that went as poorly as it possibly could have, didn't it? I just have to be extra mindful of, of Theseus trying to shoot me. I'm gonna save all my casts for later on in the fight. When it, when it's when Theseus gets really annoying, is really when I should save it for. No, thank you, Theseus. But yeah, the the call will make the boss fights way more manageable. I need to remember to use this because Doom does a lot of damage. Boy, spray and pray where possible. <laughs> Whoop. Cute. They have such a bromance. Oh, he got me, alright. Alright, we're almost full we're almost at the full cast bar. When that happens, what I'll do is I'll kite the Minotaur towards Theseus. So that I can hit both of them with the call. Whoop! Would you kindly crash into the wall, please? Thank you. Alright, here we go. So, bring them together. And do this. Look at all the damage that does. It's insane. Oh. Mm, naughty language, sir. 
Oh, shoot. I was- I thought he was gonna go the other way based on how his little, like, before he attacks animation played. So I completely mis misread his attack there. That's- that was entirely avoidable. I just- I screwed up badly. I'm just gonna keep trying to s slow him- get as many stacks of slow as I can on him. Alright, he's super slow now. He really seems to like calling Artemis, because this is the second- he called Artemis last time, too, if I recall. Let's, oof. I'm taking way too much damage on this fight. We've got another god bar, we're gonna go for it. He blocked it. Okay, so apparently you can, uh... That can be blocked. Good to know. Uh, maybe what I do is this, honestly. Cheese him with the dash rifts. Making it work. I'm making it work. Just get as much damage stacked on him as I can. Really? That hit me through all of that. Cool. Would you kindly stop blocking that attack, sir? Alright. Oh dear. I just have to make sure that... It, my biggest issue with this boss is honestly, like, I'm terrible at timing when to dodge his, his throws. Which, it's kind of silly because it's fairly consistent. He's one hit away from death. And three, two, one. There we go. Whew, close fight. I really need HP and I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> this little red guy I think is the Zagreus fan. I will come and visit him every fight, as long as I remember to do so. All right, so we're not in a very good spot for the Hades boss, not gonna lie. Ooh, 66 HP going into the final floor, exactly what I need. I needed one of those. Yeah, I sure did, Zag, I sure did. All right. You know what? Let's sell this. Because at this point, yeah, I'll probably find some more palms of power, but I don't think it's worth what I can get from having an extra resurrection. Like, this is, this is, this is worth a lot. One resurrection is worth a lot more than Sweet Nectar to me right now. So, yeah. There goes that one. So now I have one, one, one of those back. I don't think these are worth it. If I find something that heals me, sure, I'll take it. But I'm almost out of here. I need HP. That's what I really need. I need something to heal me beyond the. I'll get a. I think I get a hundred HP from, or maybe fifty percent HP from the, the pool where the satyr sack is. But I need much more than that. Alright, I don't see any dialogue circles. I actually looked for them this time. Alright, so there's a Demeter in here. That's quite a step there's an step HP down. up. I think I start with the HP up. Because I'll need that no matter what. If I can afford Demeter, awesome. If I can't, oh well. Back on duty, huh? Hi, Birdie. Birdie? Cerber? Suburbity? Suburbers? Suburbus. Suburban Masterpiece. What am I even saying? Okay, so. I think we start with the HP. The more HP we have by the time we find the sack, the more we'll be able to heal. Presumably, assuming it, it heals based on a percentage of HP and not a flat amount. I, ha I don't know for sure yet which way it goes. But anything to give us a teensy bit more survivability is what's necessary here. Satyrs in a small room, not ideal. Satyrs in a small room where I have blade rifts like this, pretty funny. Whoop. Let's not take the hits if I don't need to. Yeah, so my special actually does more damage with the Doom Drop. So I, I was going to say earlier, I think in the last episode, the downside to Doom. Actually, no, I guess it was this episode. This episode, and then I replaced my my the uh, basic attack that had Doom on it. The downside, the, the biggest con of Doom is primarily the fact that you can only stack one at a time, I believe. But there does come a, there is a passive that you can unlock that makes it so you can have multiple Doom stacks pop at once. Or I think if you 
get a certain number of stacks of doom, they all pop at once, or I forget how it works because I haven't seen it yet. But until you get those passives, you can only have one doom at a time. So its DPS is severely cut off by that fact. Right, I'm going to try and kill this because I'm protected by a pillar in theory. Okay, and that should take care of that one. Cool. I know I'm not abusing my range on this, but this is very much a just I need to keep it staggered for as long as possible so it dies. Yeah, so I probably just cast a Doom here and there and then drop this. And now I have a call so I can deal some extra damage to the room. Basically, I'm just trying to keep it stunlocked by just rapidly autoing it, or basic attacking. I'm going to say auto attack a lot because in a lot of games, auto attacks are your basic attacks, but I don't feel like it's quite the correct choice because I'm not automatically attacking. It's a very much a, I am attacking only when I press the button, whereas auto attacks are generally, I am attacking when I click something and then I just keep attacking, for example. So for Kiwi, for your frame of reference, uh, Xenoblade would be a good example of that, where your characters are always attacking, but then you can actively choose to use skills. But here, every every attack is a conscious button press decision for me. Let's try and get some doom stacks on things. This is a spooky room, but the biggest spook is the, the satyrs, because they their damage adds up the most, and the other guys very clearly telegraph where their attack is going to land, and it's very easy to dodge because of that. So... Yeah, I do like 300. Oop, oh, goodness, goodbye HP. I pressed the button and dashed into that. That was unfortunate. Yeah, my, my basic attacks when fully charged do like 400 damage, which is pretty crazy. Alright, yeah. What's this shop got? Restore 10% HP when you enter a chamber. We'll definitely want that, so we'll take that. We just, we need to get as much HP as we can before the final boss. <clears throat> We haven't even seen a second phase yet, so we've we've got a long ways to go before I feel like I can reliably beat him. And as I've proven, my damage isn't outstanding here. I think we'll take Poseidon, but I am I am healing a pretty subs. What? Whoa! Okay, that is not where I expected that dash to take me. Oof! That was almost really bad. It's honestly better DPS to just spam my my X attack. Unfortunate. Alright. Well, thanks to that well with the HP, we gained like 75 HP from it, so that was pretty great. Pretty tight quarters. Not my favorite place to be. Oh, well, uh, where is it? Where is it? I, I don't actually know where the... Uh, where, where's the anti-poison? There it is. Okay, oof. I did not mentally see it. <laughs> Or think to even think to find it, which I know in my first episode I said, oh, every time I'm in one of these rooms, I I, ch I look around to make sure I know where the HP HP resurrections are, or the anti-poison pools are, is what I'm trying to say. What, is, what am I saying? Resurrection? Oh, goodness. These traps are... This is a very spooky room, yeah. So this is, this is the what makes these rooms the hardest, is just they are small. They are so small. And that claustrophobic nature makes you very prone to getting caught on walls or not being able to dodge appropriately. And it cuts off your ability to hit enemies, too, sometimes. And these lasers are not fun to deal with. But I can deal with them pretty reliably. I'll just save spot where I can. Pretty sure that Lotus Lantern, on the idea of their laser enemies from these guys, which is kind of funny. Theirs were definitely worse because the lasers just didn't stop, but they also didn't deal damage on initial hit. They like had a they had like a brief pause before they dealt damage, so you could get out of them. Crawlers. Crawlers. Oh, just lots of little ones. Okay, we can deal with this. Just keep just spray and pray, spray and pray. Don't think they're any close to me anymore. Oh, get a big one. I'm going to reposition, because I don't think I can save spot there reliably. Thankfully, those things had, like, no HP, so they died to just even my weakest base, my weakest special attack. And if the special attack didn't kill them, the Doom pop afterwards definitely did. Alright, we're good. 
Boop. Oh, Seder. All right. Oh, and lasers. Oh, this is a Nicky room. This is a Nicky room, Kiwi. Uh, all right. I'm going to I'm going to just dodge and spray. This is a very strange statement to make. Dodge and spray. All right. I can depend on Doom to deal damage. All right. That went way better than I expected it to. Please give me some, something good. <gasps> oh, excellent. A duo boon. Wait, didn't I... Is he about to give me the same boon I just sold? No, he's not. He's just commenting on it, I guess, because we already got the duo boon. So let's see. Deal more damage when slamming foes into barriers. Your call pulls in foes and the effect lasts longer. Or gain a random assortment of all of the goodies, including HP, which would be good here. But I think I think the call is really our, our win condition for Hades, honestly. But it just, it just effectively, it just doubled the duration of our call, which is huge. Because the original duration, I think, was 1.2, and that just gave us 1.3 additional seconds. Hmm. All right. So I could get 100 gold... Which would put me in range of buying the anvil, which I don't remember what this... D oh, it removes one Daedalus hammer and gives me two in replacement. That has the potential to be really good, but it could also really hurt me if I lose my faster charge. So I don't think I'll take that, so... It doesn't seem like I'm realistically going to get anything with that gold at this point, so I think we'll go Demeter and hope that this is what we need, where we need it to go. Icky spacing. Ah, eh. Oh, no. They're staggered with each other, so I can't reliably hit them without taking a hit, potentially. Ah, I got caught behind the wall there. All right. There we go. I guess I could have just run behind them, and that would have been fine, too, but I didn't think about that till just now. All right, next room. I mean, I have to keep in mind that every room that I don't take a hit in, and well, 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 every room that I clear, I get a small amount of HP recovered. Unfortunately, I got bit there, so the net loss is adding up. But I do gain 2 HP per room I enter, including rooms that don't have any, like, challenge to them or any actual enemies in them. Oh, goodness me. There is a lot going on on the screen. I'm going to dash through here and get out of the way. Oof. There's a lot going on in that last room. Alright, I need to get rid of the lasers first, because these lasers are what are giving me the most trouble with spacing. Right, unfortunately, I don't get that option here, so I'll just deal with damage I can. If I can save up enough god juice, god bar. Really, they hit me through the pillar. Cool. Oh, because the pillar got destroyed, that's fair. I guess, this, I, I, for some reason, I assumed even if the pillar was destroyed, I would still block things, but I guess that was a gross misassumption. What sort of terrible snake stone is that? Okay, I think I can deal with this one. Oh, it's this kind of... Oh, and you spawn satyrs. Oh, gross. I don't know why I bothered that. This is going to be a hard room for me. Oh, goodness, you spawned a satyr right on top of me. That's That's so rude. I don't know if there's a finite number of these, but I suspect they're infinite. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess this is practice for the final boss, because he does something similar. See, that pillar looks destroyed, but I don't think it is. We're just going to try and take this out ASAP. doing this. Oh, I forgot that it pulls things in. Oh, that that, that actually kind of messed me up a bit there. Ugh. Armor is such a nightmare to deal with. I'm just going to stagger lock this until it dies. They, they respawn faster than I can deal with them. All I need to do is break its armor, and then I should be good. Oh, 
That was unideal. I really don't enjoy that these satyrs can just spawn on top of me like that. I'm gonna do this. There we go. Okay. That's the worst of it. Oh, it, the uh, the boon really pulls him in. I don't think I remember that one, honestly. But we made it through this room relatively unscathed. I think I had... I came in with 140 HP. So, really not that bad for a mini-boss room. And we get a boon for it. When all foes are chill-affected, they are 12% slower and decay, which does 25 damage every half second. After you take damage, you chill them, and whenever you cast, damage foes around you and inflict chill. Killing Freeze sounds really good for what we want here, because it, it, deals, it, it deals damage over time, which will allow me to focus on dodging while also stacking up the, the slowdown effects. Okay. So, we've only got two more rooms to pick from. I have had pretty bad luck with finding the Seder Sack. I think we'll go the easier path first. Because if I don't have to fight a mini-boss, I'd rather not. There are some very scary mini-bosses, and if like I get the triple Seder room, that is a nightmare to deal with. The one that I remember most distinctly being a real problem mini-boss was the one with the tiny, the very aggressive tiny rat with a boss HP bar. It is extremely fast and hard to dodge. Exactly what I need. This is very good. Now the question, it, it looks like I have a space for it, so I'm going to try this and hope I get it. Okay, that, that's huge. That is actually genuinely huge. Whether it'll pay off or not, I mean, we haven't set the most, uh, the most positive precedent in terms of my chances of survival in these, against Hades. I've lost to him twice now, but I've also gotten to him twice now. So... This is not a fun room for this kind of an enemy. Hopefully I'm okay, though. Yeah, we're fine. We've got him stagger locked now. Yeah, I think the way I use my special attack is when I'm in rooms filled with enemies and I'm focusing on dodging. I can dash, shoot, spray, and then dodge again and just let the doom damage accumulate over time rather than trying to focus on charging up an attack. Alright, vermin I can deal with. Especially if they don't want to come in melee range of me. That should have aggroed them to come into melee range. There we go. I'm just going to stay relatively as far away from the gu guillotine button as possible. Because I do not want to accidentally trigger them. But would you look at that? We got very unlucky with our uh, RNG. Well, the Seder room is the last room we looked in. Not ideal. It's kind of funny how they get dragged along for the ride on that. All right, laser shooters are not ideal here. Kind of wish I had my call for this room now. Oh goodness, this is this is icky. Honestly, that that poison dart probably should have hit me. Oh gosh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, this is an awful room, Kiwi. This room is awful. I'm pressing the button. I'm gonna press the button a lot and hope that it kills things. Uh, I got hit by the guillotines. Oh my goodness, Kiwi. This room, man. Okay. The call, like I said before, the call is absolutely our win condition here. It gives us our best chance of survival. Would you kindly piss off, my mate? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save my call on the off chance there's another wave. I don't think there is, but... Ugh. Rough. Lost a lot of HP in that room. I think I lost half of what I had. Hopefully I find one more shot that can give me some HP up. But, I mean... If we look at it from the perspective of... Kiron, you've been such a reassuring sight, I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude. Wait, you don't have to give me something in return. It was a gift. Though, you're insisting, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know what to say, mate. So I don't remember what any of the trinkets do, but I did remember that I was trying to give them and forgot to give them to a whole bunch of different people. <laughs> like, I have six six nectars. I should, I'm should i trying to get rank one with everyone so I can get their, their passives. It seems unlikely that I'll be able to afford any of the other things, so... Ugh, one more mini-boss, I guess. Maybe it's in here. But I'll probably end up taking that palm of power. 
gosh. Uh. Thankfully, these guys don't have a melee attack. It's just their like it's just their poison dart attack. So if I can stagger lock them, there's not much they can do against me. The challenge is I don't really have a good way of stagger locking them close range or uh, long range rather, because the the shot is very narrow right now. So that's why I kind of got very much up in their face and was spamming attacks. Oh gosh. The, the nice thing about these little rats is they die to my blade rift very easily. Alright, that's one down. Yeah. The, the, the other nice good side about these smaller rooms is that it really is generally just one wave. So what's our boss going to be and how bad is it going to be? Yeah, oh, finally. right. There is no boss. I'll just tuck that away. All right, one palm of power. Power of the gods. Special inflicts doom. Dash creates blade rift. That effectively doubles its damage. I think I probably take the increased doom damage since I'm using this so much. Yeah. Better blessing. Poor. 48 HP. So that healed me like a quarter of my HP. Maybe it's uh, one of the upgrades you can get from the contractor that makes it heal more, because I remember that healing, if not half my HP, at least, or if not my full HP, at least half of it. Alright, one more palm of power. More doom damage, more cast damage, more dash damage. We'll take, we'll take the, uh, we'll take the doom passive again. It'll make it easier for me, when he spawns his little allies, it'll make it easier for me to kill them. All right, Kiwi. One more rematch against the God of the Underworld. Here we go. Gigantic Cerberus accepts the prince's foul offering. Bye for now, boy. You did this. But I, I gave him what he wanted. He's happy now. And it's not death. I didn't give him death. All right. Let's visit dear old dad one more time. This is it. My brothers and my sisters and myself, we too wanted to slay our parents. The Titans. Bastards. And worse. And you succeeded. Chopped up some of them into many tiny bits and sprinkled them throughout the pits of Tartarus so they can't regenerate. Or so I hear. Inspiring, really. <laughs> We had no recourse at the time save to collaborate. Developed a specific plan and saw it through. And the Titans. You think me cruel, yet know nothing of cruelty. But here, you want something to hate, then have it. Alright, Kiwi. Moment of truth. Theme song of the game plays. Ah, wow, he clipped me with that, and that did a lot of damage. Yeah, let's pop that on him. He he moves so slow. Oop. That definitely messes up the timing a little bit, but it makes it so much easier to deal with his patterns. And honestly, the uh, the blade rift passive is uh or the blade rift dash is doing a lot of work. Yeah, okay, so I was right. His darkness does make it a lot harder to evade. Uh, okay, that's just him. Oh, that's lame. Summoning Elysium things. I think I'm gonna have to use my call here. So I'm gonna wait for Hades to pop back up. Uh, never mind, I'm taking way too much damage, so we're just gonna go ahead and do what I can there. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there are a lot of things happening all at once. Alright, got rid of that. Cool. In theory, I should be able to start stacking chill on him again and make this a lot easier. Okay, got rid of that. And that's one down. Okay. Saving my call. Whoop! Ooh, close. And good, we got that. The damage over time helps a lot here. Uh, that happens on chilled enemies. The slowdown effect on chilled enemies is also extremely good. I think I'm just going to have to let these pop. I don't want to give up my uh, stacks of chilled on him. 
Oh, I'm giving him up anyway, it seems. Get some good hits here. Alright, we've got three bars of the call, which will make his next... When he phases, he'll be a lot easier to deal with. Because I can deal with his summons pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm just going to kill these immediately. I should have waited until he was vulnerable. Whoop. But this is fine, actually. I took out three of the four. And now I can take this one out pretty low effort. And just go back to stacking damage on him. Oh, oh I didn't see those until it was too late. Whoop. Ooh, that was close. All right, I'm getting better at timing my, my dashes. He's over here. Ooh, that almost hit me. Take out this orb because I don't think I need to worry about the other one. It's too far away to really hit me. All right, I was wrong. It was close enough. I'm just gonna keep stacking up chilled. Damage over time matters a lot here. Getting a little closer. Not sure why the music stopped there for a second. All right, I've got greater call. That's a huge deal. But I think we're gonna fade as him. There we go. To have been brought this low by my own ungrateful child, I would expect such treatment from my brothers, but from you. All right, so I've got his first pattern down pretty well, and it's really easy to dodge when he's this slow. I do not remember much about his second phase. I do remember the spinny laser attack, though, which is what these pillars are about. Whoop, whoop, ooh, okay, just barely dodged that. Oh, he drops a lot of things, doesn't he? No, thank you. Oh, that's way fewer lasers than I remember it being. I can deal with that. Whoop, whoop. Not terribly, but while you're here. Okay, I'm not sure why that turned me around, but... Ah. Whoop. Alright, he's unslowed, but let's get the slow back up on... I forget what these do. I think these explode. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to... I am going to... Maybe call here? Oh, yeah. Oof, I used that defensively and it was the right call. But look at his HP bar just go down with this. It's so strong. Unfortunately, he's going to cheese me with that. Oh, there are the more lasers I remember. I knew I forgot something. Yeah, I've got his patterns down now. A little bit of memory, a lot of bit of... Whoop. <laughs> There's my confidence. Woohoo! But, yeah, when he's this slow, it's... Whoop. Took the hit. I, I went for the hit, and I got... I didn't get punished for it. But he, his HP is just constantly whittling away. I think we finish him with Poseidon. Just a little... A little gift from Uncle. Uncle Poseidon. Whoop, whoa. Let's get here. Okay, we can do this. I think we've got him, Kiwi. And we didn't even need the resurrections that we bought either. Finish him off with Poseidon. There we go. Our first victory. Well, only took four episodes. Not bad. I think this is our fourth or fifth run. He's so mad. I told you that I would, Father. And I'm going to. Goodbye. Wait. Wait, just... If you... If you find her... If you somehow find her... Tell her something for me. Tell her... Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. <laughs> what? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. You'll answer me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy, but ask it anyway. Persephone, my mother, why did she leave? I... Alone in darkness. There is no escape. Goodbye, father. And there we are, our first victory. What carried the run? Frost Strike, absolutely, and Poseidon's Aid. 
they were the first two abilities we got and they really just kind of, uh, well, I guess they weren't the first two, but they were like the abilities we built into the most and for right, for the right reasons. Uh, but yeah, not, not terrible, not terrible at all. Pretty happy with that. We'll be beating that record pretty soon. I'm sure. All right. Well, our first Titan blood. I think that's what that's called. Some sort of power, yep. But for what? Okay, maybe not our first. It's apparently our third, but it's the first one we got in from Hades. I guess. There were probably dots I could have read there. Oops. I made it. Oh, we're walking so the slow. An overlook. Await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nyx. So it seems like Nyx knew where Persephone is, and that's why he can find her. I do. I really like how they write Hades in this game, and, and all the characters really, especially Hades and Zagreus's dynamic with each other. But, like in that moment, you can tell that he still cares about Persephone deeply. He doesn't. He knows he can't maybe fix what's happened, but he wants to at least know, let her know that things back home are okay. The surface, windswept, racked by freezing cold. Nonetheless, instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime, for it is unlike anything that he has seen. It's beautiful. Both the music and the scenery are really beautiful. It definitely gives you a sense of it's kind of dark here, though. I forget if we actually meet Persephone on the first attempt. It looks like we do. Oh, that thing. That's the sun. I feel like part of the reason they make this traversal area so slow is to really give an emphasis that you're traveling a fair bit of distance. It's not like a short walk. Considering you're watching the sunrise happen. But now we're like in a smaller space so we can get to it right away. And there she is. Pray, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. Speak up. Um, you must be Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. What? How dare! Get out of here! Get out, or I shall make you! Out with you! No, so then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... You died. Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... Now you're standing here before me. How? I died? I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, God. You never even knew I existed either. Alive. Sagrius, he even kept your name. You live. How can this be? You live. You live. Oh, the cruel fates. My son. Mother. Time passes. It's really sweet and kind of sad how her what her initial reaction was. In short, I beat him, finally, though he did everything he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Uh, oh, it's... guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. No. No, that isn't it. It's that... You cannot stay here. You can't stay here. Really, you're... <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. Same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye. 
for now. My heart soars knowing you live. Then it breaks that our time together was so brief. No, I can come back. I can come back. Now that I found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he, or for that matter, Nyx, never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I feel awful. I... I have to go. The sticks shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please, come back. I shall be waiting here. However long it takes. It's a really sweet interaction, like... However long it takes. The voice acting in this game is just... It has so many moments of just really good. Hold on. Uh, mother, I have to get back there. But hey, we did it! Our first victory in Hades. What an accomplishment. It took me a very long time in my original playthrough. I think it took me probably... I think I did it on maybe my 13th or somewhere in the 20th realm of, of attempts. But I did. I, I still have the- I took- I took screenshot, screenshots on my Switch of all of my victories at, for a while, I remember. Like, the- the panel they give you where they showed the build you ran. You are late, boy. Have you any idea what time it is? No. Wait, what? I vanquished you in single combat and finally found Mother, and that's all you have to say to me. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't you think I would recall such an event? You can't be serious. You're going to pretend as though it never happened. She wants answers, same as I do. She demands you let me pass. Let me go to her again. Silence. This discussion is over. I hardly think this is the time or place to indulge your overwrought imagination. I know where we can continue this discussion then. Ominous. <laughs> but yeah, I... I, I... I, I was I was worried for a second because of the way Persephone initially re reacted. I thought she was like, I don't remember her like being aggressive or, or angry towards Zagreus's arrival, but it makes sense. It, it's it's someone appears claiming to be her, as far as she knows, deceased son. I am curious to know both how he lived and why they kept it a secret from her because I don't remember. I found her, sir. My mother. She's alive and well and. But I just couldn't stay up there for very long. I have to get back to her. You really made it all the way? You must have gotten past your father. That's amazing, lad. But wait, what was she like? What happened to you there? She was... she was great. Nothing like father, more like you a little bit, I guess. Though being on the surface, it just seemed to suck the life right out of me. Even without the wretches of the underworld trying to do me in. But then you had a little time, at least. Sounds like you have unfinished business with her there. You got to her this once. Surely you're able to again, isn't that right? It is. I have to speak with her. We will get there again for sure. Alright, can we buy anything here? Fishing. Here. No. I forgot about fishing in this game. I don't even remember what that does to benefit us, but let's go for it. see why not. I positively cannot wait to see what sorts of foul creatures I'll dredge up with this. I... Blessing from Poseidon on a stick and nothing more. <laughs> so salty, my friend. So salty. Alright, that's all we get for now. That's fine. Child, your father fell to you as once his father fell to him. Although you were substantially more merciful. I know it is a bitter victory at best. Though, tell me... What transpired subsequently that you have returned? Did you locate your birth mother? I did. I... she was there. She was where you said she'd be. And more than I imagined, but... I had so little time with her. I can't survive up there for very long. Why didn't you tell me I'd just die no matter what? Oh, my child. I say this seldomly, but... I did not know. Or, I did not wish to believe. 
that the surface would have such an effect on you. But it seems you share your father's fate, after all. My father's fate? But he was smugly waiting for me up there and seemed quite healthy all in all. Though, maybe the farther we get from this realm, the worse we get. Because he cast his lot, inheriting the underworld. So I now presume. You are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine. Tell me something. If you knew that you could only see Persephone for but a moment's time, would you still make the journey to her there? Yes. Yes, I would. I had so many questions left for her. Then go and ask them, child. Steady your resolve and find her there again. And use well what brief time you have with one another whilst you can. As mortals do. As mortals do. I really do appreciate, like, how in this setting, Zacharias is surrounded by a lot of people who are supporting him. A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. Cerberus is employee of the week. Yay! Zagreus, please tell me that the rumors are untrue. You really vanquished him. Have you completely lost your mind? You're going to destroy this blasted house. Come on, Meg. Father had it coming for some time. What's your concern besides? The house is safe. He's not going to take this lying down. He'll find some way to take it out on you, on all of us. You watch yourself or all of us will pay. I will not let that happen. <laughs> hey, Meg. Have a gift. Hey, uh, Meg. Look, uh, I know you're just doing your job out there. And anyway, found this, thought of you and all that. So, here. He's so awkward. I, I'll see to it. This contraband is put away at once. Now, take your finder's fee and go about your business. <laughs> I, uh, thanks. Okay. Oh, I remember now. I can give you fish for stuff. I think you buy my fish for, uh, and give me either gems or Arabic shards, or I think it depends on the day. I think that's what happened. But now that the lounge is open, that's exciting. Hi, Dusa. Oh, the prince himself. You want to talk to me? Me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I uh, just wanted to say the lounge looks wonderful. As good as new. Better. I hope it's not been too much trouble patching up. I, 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 I have to clean the rafters. I... I do, sir. Thanks for all your hard work. Mm-hmm. Then you trade currency for different currency, right? Okay. Yeah, I can trade keys for gems, nectar for keys, so on and so forth. Okay. Not gonna use that just yet because I kind of need all of the resources for different things and since I don't know what to prioritize strictly speaking I don't want to accidentally waste something where it could benefit me to have it. So I think we go dump some stuff into the mirror, we talk to Skelly, and we end our day and see what our next run will entail. Because I think what I'll do is I'll stick to whatever the uh, the passive that increases your dark essence. Tired, thanks. I'll, I'll prioritize whatever the essence uh, whatever passive is going to give me more essence for winning on. We have enough keys. Let me hold off until I see if I have to play the spear, because I haven't unlocked that one yet. What do you know? This came true. I broke free after all. Sort of. And these, I don't have yet. That's fine. Okay. So I can buy a bunch of really good stuff at the mirror. That's a pact of punishment on it. Oh, all right. I forgot that we get, you get the pact of punishment as soon as you get your first clear. Hey, pal, watch where you throw those bloodstone things of yours. You drop them, you go pick them up. You understand? But if somebody gives you grief, you got my permission to chuck one right in his eye. <laughs> I'll just aim generally for the midsection, since the eyes are a lot harder to hit in my experience. That is fair. All right, what do these new passives do? So direction. deal twenty percent damage while at thirty-five percent or less HP. Items from the Well of Charon have four more encounters. Okay. There are some other ones. I'll I'll grab those off. No, there, there's a special dialogue. So we'll be running the shield next turn. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if I'm going to go running the Pact of Punishment just yet, but what I will do is I think since I have the keys, let me... I, I'll need to unlock all the weapons anyway, so I may as well unlock this. We'll do the shield next run, but we'll do the or we'll do the shield next run, but hopefully we'll do the spear the run after that. 
And then, as far as this goes, I can't unlock stuff with the... I'm trying to think, is Stubborn Defiance... Stubborn Defiance might honestly be better than Death Defiance. Other side. But I think for now I'll stick with Death Defiance. Three resurrects, like, three fifty percent resurrects sounds really good. Maybe that was the wrong call, I don't know. But I'm, I'm gonna stick with Death Defiance for now. And then, Dark Regeneration... I think I'll, I think I'll bump this up so I get more HP. Greater Reflex versus Ruthless Reflex, no. Okay, so yeah, we've, we've got what we need for now. That makes that'll make my runs a lot more consistent if I have the safety net of three resurrects. Anyway, let's give you a gift. Um, Nix, you've done so much for me. I thought you might like this. You know your father does not like it when nectar is doled out on the premises, dear child. However, I am not he, and I wished, regardless, to provide you a token of my affection. <laughs> Yay! I'm very grateful, Nix. I don't remember what hers does. Alright, so is there anyone else I can give this to? I can give one to Achilles, right? Yep. Hey, Achilles. Look, this really isn't much, but here. This really is for me. You beat me to it, then. As I had meant to give you this when next we spoke. Alright. So Myrmidon much, Bracer. Alright, Kiwi, I think that's it for today. We did a whole lot. I can't give anything to Hades just yet because he'll get mad about the nectar in his house, apparently. But I know there's a point where we eventually unlock the ability to even, even swoon our father. But with all that said, I hope you've enjoyed watching, and if you're awake, I hope you're sleeping well. If you're asleep, I hope you're awake. <laughs> I'm not doing these outros well this week, I swear. Kiwi, I hope if you're awake, this is helping you fall asleep. And if you're asleep, I hope you're sleeping well. Cerberus is missing, I just noticed. I love you, Kiwi. I'll see you in the next one. I guess we don't get good luck pets on the next episode, though, which is kind of sad. <laughs>